Hi guys, thanks for joining me. I'm Mercedes Carrera and I wanted to do this broadcast today because I have, I have some things to say, I have some things to announce, um, and I have an appeal to all of you for help. So uh, as many of you could see, if you're following my Twitter feed, Cytheria, who is a, um, an outstanding porn performer, she's actually the, the godmother of the squirting movement, Um, she, uh, she was, her house was broken into, she was assaulted by three young men, hooligans, who were juvenile delinquents, she was raped, her children were in the house, they abused her husband, I mean, it's, it's really deplorable, and because of that, I'm, I'm doing, chair, I'm doing cam shows this week, and those cam shows will go to benefit, uh, Cytheria and her family, and I, Honestly, just talking about it is it's upsetting. Um, it was it was a random act as far as they can tell and This stream isn't so much about her specifically or that although I ask that you either um, Watch the cam show or donate directly to her or whatever you can do uh, To help because I don't know Cytheria personally. I have a camaraderie with her as a fellow porn actress. I also have a camaraderie with her as a fellow human being. And what really bothers me, and this is my rant, what really fucking bothers me is that for the last two months, I have sat by in Gamergate and I have watched false faux victims utilize the world for their own personal and profit aims claiming victimhood over emails and over comments on Twitter. And here you have a woman who's a real victim of a real rape and a real assault, and those same women who claim that they care about women's rights have done nothing. They have done jack fucking shit. And that pisses me off. And earlier I tweeted to Anita Sarkeesian, and I said, can you help? Radio fucking silence. And you know what makes me mad? And this is why I am so pissed off at modern feminists. They claim to care about women, but when there are actually women in need, what do they do? Fucking radio silence. They don't give a shit about anybody but themselves. Anita Sarkeesian has made hundreds of thousands of dollars peddling her bullshit faux video, socially damaging crap. And it has been damaging for gender relations and it has been damaging for women. And I don't even want to hear about her victimhood because Cytheria, she's a real victim. A real victim of a random rape and assault. And you know, anybody who even dares insinuate that a sex worker doesn't deserve the same type of defense because, of, because they work in sex work can go fuck themselves. And that's what I have to say, and that's why I am so fucking livid right now. Because here you had Rolling Stone cover a false campus rape story, totally unverified, and trot this girl out as the media darling, an example of rape. And then here you have a woman who was actually brutally raped in her own home by repeat offenders, and nobody said shit about it. And I'm hoping that this video wakes some of them up because if these mainstream media outlets, you know, we've talked about ethics and journalism and Gamergate and everyone said, that's bullshit. That's a cover for, for the abusive women. And you know what? I say, fuck you. Because you know what? Right now, mainstream media is not covering Cytheria. They're not. They're, they're covering, they've created this, this straw man bullshit ad hominem belief system that, oh, you know what, it's, it's men and gaming. It's, it's all the, the male gamers that are the misogynists and the damaging people in society. You know what, fuck you. You wanna do some actual reporting? Why don't you take a look at why these repeat offender juvenile delinquents are out of prison and able to break into people's homes? And guess what, it wasn't just Cytheria's home. They caught them because they did it again the next night. That's the fucking problem in this country. You want to talk about violence against women? Why aren't we looking at that? Why aren't we looking at gaps in the prison systems? Why aren't we looking at, 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 at all of these other societal issues? No, you know what? We're going to pick a group of benign people who enjoy uh, a gaming as a, as, a, as a hobby, and we're going to paint, and we're going to smear them and make them the horrible, horrible abusers of women. 
And it makes me so mad that these people utilize victimhood. Brianna Wu, Anita Sarkeesian. Yeah, you know, I mean, that, that, that blue-haired girl talking about being abused and, and oppressed on Twitter. You know who is abused? Cytheria. You know who's abused? There are Christy Mack. There are tons of women that I can name off the top of my hand. This is what feminism should be about. Feminism should be about supporting those women and supporting women who have faced real abuse and real hardship. I don't even want to hear this idea that these bullshit videos are in some way helping women. Get off of it. This is a big fucking profiteering scheme and they know it. And this is the reason, you know, right now, I swear to God, I would give my skin so that Sathiri wouldn't have to experience that in her home with her children. And these women who are making a ton of fucking money peddling their victimhood haven't given any of it back. They can't even deliver their DVDs on schedule. And you're going to tell me that they're the victims of society? And we have a media that enables this? There's something seriously wrong. Seriously wrong. I am so disappointed right now. I am so disappointed in Rolling Stone for running articles, ruining some young man's life without fact-checking. Where are they? And thank God, you know, thank God for Cytheria's fans and that there are people who are supporting her. And I know she didn't ask me to do this video. These are just my thoughts about this. But I am so tired of the hypocrisy. And I'm so tired of having to defend a group of, of really benign, kind people from this corrupt media structure that they've created to, to profiteer off of faux victimhood. They don't want to look at real victimhood because it's ugly and it's scary and it's horrible and it's unpredictable. So let's instead focus on, on emails and tweets. You know, I, I really think that so much of it has to do with the fact that these people who are peddling their faux victimhood have no idea what it's like to be an actual hardship. So for everybody, I ask that everyone just do what they can, take care of each other. Because it's very, very clear at this point that the media is not going to tell you the truth and that we have to care for one another. <laughs> the, the structure right now of social support is skewed. It is so skewed. They're throwing money at people who are, who are useless and who are narcissists and con men who have well-constructed videos so that they can guilt people into giving them money. And you know, people who really need the help are so fucking traumatized that they can't even begin to think like that. I, I was chatting with Cytheri earlier. She's afraid to leave her house. She's afraid to leave her home. Her kids were in that house. And, and the stories of the Brianna Woos and the Anita Sarkeesians, really, truly, wake the fuck up. And to all of you who've been supporting that shit, wake the fuck up. And it's not just Cytheria. There are people every fucking day in this world who are suffering. And we're worried about manspreading. And we're worried about inequity of, of, of bathrooms at sports stadiums. Wake the fuck up. I am so sick of it. I am so tired of this. So open your eyes. If you can make a difference, make a difference. If you can spread information, spread information, but call people out on this bullshit. Because if society keeps going this way, and it's always been like this, I, I don't suffer any delusions that it's ever been better than this. But I hate to admit that I've become a cynic. And... I think it was George Carlin who said that inside of every cynic is a disappointed idealist. And I think that's true. So for me, I will do everything in my power. I will create whatever I can create. Um, I'm getting on cam at 9 p.m. tonight. And... If you could log in and watch my show, great. If you could donate directly to Cytheria's link, great. Do something.
And I, I thank all of you for taking the time to listen to my rant today. Um, I will be creating some other sort of event. This is why I created the porn charity. This is why I created it, because I actually was subverted from doing good by people who claim to want to do good in the world. You know, it, the irony of the term social justice worker is that they're anything but. They really don't want to do the work. I have no problem doing the work. You can fucking hang me from my skin to do the work. So... That's what I ask of you. I ask that we all continue this fight however it goes, however it has transformed. I never thought that I would find such a synchronicity with a group of, of gamers and, and geeks and technology people, but I, I find in that that through our connectedness we find truth. So thank you for watching. I love all of you. Please. Donate to Cytheria, help her family, watch my cam shows. Um, I will do more of these as, as we can. And um, all right, so I will be on streammate.com forward slash Mercedes Carrera. I'll post the link if you can do that. Um, I love you all. Have a great evening. Thank you again.